The newly appointed UN envoy for Yemen has arrived in the capital Sana ahead of a planned Saudi ceasefire. Mauritanian diplomat Ismail Sheikh Ahmed toured several Persian Gulf countries involved in the onslaught on Yemen before traveling to Sana. The five day ceasefire is expected to come into effect at 2000 GMT. Saudi Arabia's military spokesman Ahmad al Asiri says that Saudi forces have the right to inspect the Iranian aid ship before it reaches a Yemeni port. The ship is uh, loaded with 2,500 tons of much-needed aid, including medical supplies from Iran's Red Crescent. Saudi Arabia has already blocked Iranian aid deliveries to Yemen. Lebanon's Hezbollah movement has criticized Egyptian satellite provider Nilesat for taking Yemen's Arabic broadcaster Al Masira off the air. Hezbollah has said that the move proves the inability of the invaders in justifying their crimes against the oppressed people of Yemen. The movement also called for the punishment of those behind the decision. Nearly three weeks after a devastating earthquake hit Nepal, another major quake, measuring 7.3 on the Richter scale, has shaken the Himalayan country. Officials and witnesses say at least 42 people have been killed. Two powerful aftershocks hit minutes after the quake. A humanitarian ship has left Sweden for Gaza in an effort to end the blockade of the coastal enclave. The uh, Marianne of Gothenburg is the first boat of the Freedom Flotilla 3 to depart for the Palestinian territory. The vessel is carrying solar panels and medical equipment. The U.S. Secretary of State is in Moscow for talks with Russian officials over the crisis in Ukraine. John Kerry is due to hold a meeting with President Vladimir Putin after talks with his Russian counterpart. The shaky ceasefire in Ukraine is expected to be the highlight of the talks. Iran's foreign minister has reiterated that the U.S. government will be responsible for implementing any final nuclear agreement with Tehran. That he said, the U.S. Senate's latest bill that requires President Barack Obama to submit a final nuclear deal to Congress for approval could only delay the implementation of the deal. And the White House has rejected claims by top American investigative journalist Seymour Hersh that Washington lied about the raid that apparently killed al-Qaeda leader Osama bin Laden back in 2011. Hearst said bin Laden was secretly kept in a Pakistan prison and Islamabad helped the U.S. stage the raid on his compound.